हेलो हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू चेक आउट अ वीडियो बाय अक्षर टाइटल डेस 2024 इलेक्शंस एंड इंपैक्ट ऑन द स्टॉक मार्केट लेट्स हम लोग देखेंगे so stock markets in india do fairly well one year before the elections you can check the last 25 years data and this trend plays out quite aggressively for example consider the fact that when shri atal bihari vajpayee became the prime minister of india if you consider the one year returns of the stock market before the elections you will see that the stock markets gave 50.7% returns if you apply the same analysis to dr manmohan singh in 2004 the stock markets one year before gave almost 98% up move then if you consider dr manmohan singh 2009 there was a negative trend then shri narendra modi the markets gave 16.6 and then finally in 2019 the stock markets gave 5.2 so overall if you study the results you will see that typically on an average the stock market gives an up move of 30% before an election year so hi everyone welcome to today's video so on this video i am going to help you decode whether it is a great time to be investing in the stock market given the data that i just showed you what are some nuances finer points that you should understand about the volatility how you should prepare your portfolio as of now and once the elections are over what is likely to happen so i will decode all that story through data i will also speak about some of the bets that i am taking along the way give you a macro view whatever is happening i will relate a lot of technicals fundamentals business so in case you like this type of analysis do consider supporting these videos just press the like button and i know that you haven't done it so please press the like button so that these type of videos reach out to more people also a very big shout out to our sponsors for today which is vested it is an excellent platform to diversify your risk by investing in the us markets i myself invest a lot of my money in the us markets so in case you want to hedge your macro economic risk as a diversification principle you can definitely consider taking some us bets you can check my entire us portfolio also in the description and comment box so definitely go and check out vested So with that said let's kick start our video and let me give you a finer understanding of the data that i had shown you because some of you might take a look at this data and get scared yeah that before 2009 elections the stock market corrected by 25% please notice the year 2009 that was a time when financial meltdown had happened the stock market correction had just begun not only in india but also across the globe so this was a major macro event so and this is an anomaly so you cannot consider it as a rule that's point 1 point 2 if you consider the year 2019 you will see that you know before modi ji's election the market only gave like 5.2% return well there is an asterisk sign and you can see that the data has been adjusted for covid impact and we have considered till march 5th of 2020 so let me show you the chart also that since when the market started correcting so the market before covid started correcting somewhere in feb right and it corrected how much and almost till march there was at least like a 20 25% fall that was completed so ideally agar aisa kuch nahi hota covid type ki situation then even before modi ji's reelection the market would have given 30% return okay so to cut the long story short if you just look at this data point here election se pehle is it like a good time to invest short answer the data driven answer is then 100% yes that it is definitely a good time to invest in the stock market before the election year ab ye to ho gayi data driven baat but is there some logic facts analysis to it that okay why would such a thing happen that the stock market is going to give good returns one year only before why not like two years three years before or why not after the results okay so let us do a little bit of thought exercise let me ask you a question that what do politicians truly care about you will say people no the, that is wrong answer politicians honestly care about votes okay so like irrespective of the political party that is my view point people can disagree but anyways let's work with this so politicians care about votes now people vote based on what now you will say development well maybe maybe not but definitely people vote based on sentiments and one sub category of sentiments are market sentiments right so market means nifty 50 or sensex so agar election se pehle just before election the market sentiments become positive then is that a good thing for the government politicians the short answer is yes and therefore that data point that i had shown you earlier it's not an anomaly it very much falls in line with what the politicians want 
now definitely i am not trying to say that market sentiments are the only and the sole thing that is out there but market sentiments definitely play a very important role it indicates as a strength of investor sentiment it talks about how much fii di money is coming it generally creates a very positive environment for politicians and therefore the sitting government will do everything in their power to support the stock market at this juncture so this is a very simple analysis but a very powerful one and i hope that you are able to understand this point i'm not trying to make the video political as a bahut sari sarkaron ne kiya and this government is also likely to do something similar so then comes the second question ki acha what exactly will the government do that will support the stock market what the size step that they can take well to cut the long story short here is the data and you can check so right now the interest rates in india are almost at 6 6.5% okay and you can see and you can check that when was the last time such a high interest rates were there so this was somewhere in like 2015 ish right so that is when it was there so can the government cut the interest rates from this point the short answer is yes many economists are predicting that the governments are going to cut the interest rates not only in india but also in the us so us also will go an election cycle next year and the results will be announced in 2025 so wahan pe bhi interest rates are going to get cut so if india mein interest rate cut honge us mein interest rate cut honge so what impact will it have on the stock market it will have a very positive impact no why positive impact because whenever the interest rate gets cut then there is more flow of money into the stock market now you say acha iske piche koi economics hai is there some economics behind it why would this happen so okay yes there is a logic behind it and let's understand it through a simple example so let's say that i give you choice one right the choice one is that you are getting an fd interest rate right now at 7 7.5% ab fd karoge the short answer is yes you will go and deposit your money in a bank fd mein paisa safe hai sab badhiya badhiya no option 2 the fd rates are cut to let's say 5% then will you put more money in fds the short answer is no you will say yaar 5% mazaa nahi aaya pehle saath milta tha ye wo right and then you will think ki chalo i'll take like little bit of risk with it so where will you put that money you will put that money in real estate you will put that money in stock markets wagera wagera jagah then what will happen if the money flows to real estate stock market well these asset classes will go so to cut the long story short what is likely to happen before the election and the reason why there is likely to be a rally is very simple that the interest rates are likely to be cut and nifty 50 or the top performing stocks in india are likely to go up in fact iska pura mahol bana hua hai i will write a very detailed macro economic post tomorrow on member community where you will understand the entire rational in case you are a serious investor do consider checking out our youtube member community it's a very reasonable product try it for a month if you don't like it cancel the subscription it's a basic subscription under 150 rupees something like this just try it once it's a community of serious investors and people have really loved the experience so far i will write a very detailed macroeconomic post on this specific topic tomorrow but let me give you a very quick understanding on that for example if you study the market indices right now what you will clearly notice is that large cap ya nifty 50 usko bolte hain so that hasn't performed that much it is up in its recent rally by 16% roughly 15 16% small cap in its recent rally is up by like 60% okay and mid cap ka i will double check and let you know the data but to cut the long story short what is happening from a market sentiment point of view is that large cap mein bahut zyada tezi nahi hai it has not been a massive growth in large cap in this recent rally but small caps have somewhat outperformed large caps and people are saying a bubble ban gaya this that so separate topic maybe i will cover it later but the important point that i wanted to explain was that if you study the mahol right or the environment right now what is it pointing to well it is pointing to the fact that large caps are likely to go up at least in the short term when i say short term it means pre election that these are likely to go up why not small cap mid caps because abhi maine aapko kya bataya tha that market sentiment wala point right and market sentiment is what well market sentiment is nifty 50 and sensex now what is nifty 50 comprise of it comprises of large cap stocks right so these are likely to do much better before elections like almost very high probability i'm a stamp paper to likh nahi de sakta but there is a very high probability that large caps are likely to outperform small caps at least at this juncture small cap major rally has already happened at least one leg people made a lot of money i invested made a lot of money in small cap should you sell it should you not sell it that again i will cover on some other video or member community but i hope that you are able to grasp the most important point here that before election rally hoti hai why does it happen typically and what type of mahol has been built so far that will propel this rally even this time there is a good chance that that rally will happen 
सो कम्स दी नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट ओके रैली होगी देन टिल वॉट पॉइंट विल निफ्टी फिफ्टी लाइकली गो राइट सो इफ यू डू अ लिटल बिट ऑफ टेक्निकल एनालिसिस यू विल क्लियरली सी दैट ओके दिस इज अ कप विथ हैंडल पैटर्न हियर इज वेयर दी ब्रेकआउट हैपेंड एंड इट सस्टेन देन इट केम डाउन इट हैज स्टार्टेड टू गो बैक सो अगर इफ दिस टेक्निकल पैटर्न गेट्स कंप्लीटेड देन दी रेंज और द टारगेट रेंज कम्स आउट टू बी समवेयर अराउंड ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड राइट सो दिस इज द रेंज दैट बिटवीन ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज वेयर द मार्केट्स आर लाइकली टू बी बिफोर इलेक्शन एंड एग्जैक्टली ये रैली क्यों आएगी बिकॉज द इंटरेस्ट रेट्स आर लाइकली टू बी कट बिफोर इलेक्शन और दी माइट हैपन इन लाइक डिसम्बर आई डोंट नो सो वेन एवर आर बी आई मेक्स दैट का फेयर विल इजिली बी और टेन परसेंट अप मूव इन द मार्क सो देन कम्स दी नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट की अच्छा ठीक है यार ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड मैसेज भाई मजा आ गया राइट नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट ट्रेडिंग भाई ट्रेडिंग ट्रेडिंग मत करना दिस इज नॉट अ ट्रेडेबल मार्केट ना वाई इज दैट द केस बिकॉज इन दी इलेक्शन ईयर देर इज अ लॉट मोर वॉलेटिलिटी इन द स्टॉक मार्केट ना वॉलेटिलिटी सिंपली मूव दैट हाउ वायलेंटली द मार्केट मूव्स अप कम्स डाउन मूव्स अप कम्स डाउन so that range or that trading range becomes like fairly big and it can cause a lot of heartburn heartache for people who are trading now you can also check it by understanding something called as vix so let me show that to you now volatility is measured by a number called as vix so this is called as nifty vix and what you will notice is so let me show you the entire chart here see this was 2014 time right and you will see that there are sudden spikes here right usually flat flat trade karta tha then it started trading very aggressively here in this zone right so the vix went up now something similar happened in 2019 also right this part right you will say yaar ye wali peak aapne discuss nahi kari 2020 mein there was no election well that was a separate thing altogether in 2008 also it was not because of election that vix was there or volatility was high 2008 there was a financial meltdown so vix wahan pe bhi bada tha 2020 there was a covid crash so vix wahan pe bhi bada tha so these are separate events but generally if you notice b8 20 13 14 b8 20 19 b8 2009 so every time the wicks moves quite aggressively so in a volatile market if you are not an exceptional trader when i say exceptional trader unless you are in top 3 4 5% not to trade like you are going to lose a lot more money so this was an important point so i explained it to you in brief now before explaining it to you what type of specific assets you should aggregate before elections and how you should hedge your portfolio let me take maybe like 2 minutes to explain you other positive things that will support the market rally so number one point here is that the fii data is strong for the last 3 months they have been net buyers recently they sold this month but it is very likely that this trend is again going to reverse because there is massive support from bii and with a global interest rate cut so this point number 5 is that interest rates are not only going to get cut in india they are also likely to get cut in the us so with that happening the fii's are going to look for emerging market opportunities again so this trend typically looks very positive okay so this is point one. second point by the economic strength of india now i will not speak too much here because people have different different diverging opinions on it some say ki bahut growth ho rahi hai some say ki kuch nahi growth ho rahi it's for you to decide but net net the trend again seems to be positive or at least the news seems to be positive now fundamentals kya hai we will talk about it in some other video with a data driven approach okay so i will not comment too much but net net of course like there is lot of positive news that is happening three there is bottoming out of the market now this is short term bottoming out and i will show it to you on charts also and please take a look at two year data now here if you go and check right so here is october of 2021 and here right this is almost june of 2023 right so roughly one and a half years ho gaye and how much returns has the market given so market has hardly given like 5 6% return in the last one and a half years so on a two year basis which is considered to be short term the markets have underperformed they have not done well pre election year sab kuch bhul jao if the government wants to take up the market up they can easily take the market up that is more likely to happen at this point and therefore you should be a sensible net buyer not a net seller in this type of a market so acha one very interesting point that once the market hits 21500 what should you do should you sell it should you not sell it what is it that you are doing akshar so akshar will be a net seller at this stage now why net seller now again i can make an entire video on this topic but let me explain you two three very basic points here once the elections are over then what happens okay so there are three four basic points it depends on what type of government we get right for example if modi ji comes to power with a thumping majority that's good for the market if some other leader comes with a thumping majority again that's good for the market okay please notice the word market i am not giving you opinion who should come to power who should not come to power that is political debate i will not get into that 
basically the market likes decisiveness and if there is very strong government that is coming at the center they can anticipate that you know what then the policy that will get formed for the next few years it will be stable as a beach mein kuch nahi ho raha hai sarkar gir gayi right now some other person says something or some other coalition says something so wo sab rakhte nahi honge right so it depends on the strength of the government i personally feel ki it will not be as strong a government in the center this time as it was the case the last two times okay so this is point 1 this is my personal opinion who will win i don't know then comes the second point that okay what is the overall market conditions that are the market overvalued undervalued after elections so see if the market hits this 21500 mark i would say that you know what one major rally from here all the way till 21500 has been concluded if you study the history of the indian stock market from 2014 this is an analysis that i done on my hindi video i will link it in the description box you can go and check it from 2014 till say 2024 if the market hits 21500 this will amount to a kagar of 14% 14% this is fairly good okay so at this stage we cannot say that the markets are undervalued for sure definitely undervalued to nahi hai fairly valued yes and overvalued you can debate so that is the sensible data that i am sharing with you now add to this the fact that the world has to bring down the debt the total debt on the world is fairly high and they will have to bring it down that means that the interest rates would be kept fairly high or they might even increase it intermittently or they will raise taxation which will hit the domestic consumption now the indian market is mostly domestic consumption driven market as of now if the taxes are raised any further that will be back breaking for people and wo acha nahi hoga economy strength ke liye but once elections are over who cares about like economy and all that stuff no incentive left also so i am moving to other better options one such option for me is real estate i have already aggregated a lot of real estate i am buying even more I have already started planning my portfolio accordingly. I have already made very good money from my stock portfolio, and at this stage, I would have made even better returns. So I am very happy with how my stock portfolio has performed. In case you want to check my entire PNL, I have linked it in the description comment box. You can watch that video also. That does not mean that I am leaving the stock market. No, I am not leaving the stock market. I will still continue to invest, but I will build substantial real estate portfolio along the way. So, okay, then comes the final question: What is it that you should be buying? What is it that you should be selling? And how? So, let us quickly chat about that as well. Number one, very clear undervalued opportunity that I see are large cap banks. Right? I have been speaking quite extensively about it. I have already geared my portfolio, waiting for a breakout. maybe it will happen in 3 months maybe it will happen in 6 months maybe it will happen just before election i don't know i can't take guarantee of that but overall sensible banks like hdfc bank kotak bank are at very reasonable valuation lot of people are saying ki yaar internet banking is chalti hai hdfc bank ki bhai unki internet banking has been working for years okay so it's not as if that there is some problem going on check the profit check the revenues check its pe everything looks solid i am not saying that hdfc bank will double from this point no i am not saying that but making a good 15 30% return in a quick manner seems very feasible so that is a major bet second it stocks so i had already been aggregating it stocks for the last 2 months that right? i spoken about it quite extensively in last 2 months it has already climbed up by 11% i just taken very simple nifty it bet that's it right and us pe mera 11% ka profit hai very very happy with it why because the risk for me is very low people keep on looking at like micro cap small cap mid cap nahi karenge but i am talking about safe investing yes i do risky investing too which i can't speak publicly because then you know you guys will say yeah the yes problem chala wo stock nahi chala so of course that's risky but at least i can talk about sensible bets then comes consumer durable most likely they should start running some stocks have already started running but they should start running more more from the festive season that is likely to happen then you have internet based companies zomato for me has been a very good stock it has already given me like 30 40% return from the levels i was speaking back that time no one was speaking about zomato now everyone is yeah zomato is a very good company this time, right so anyways i am betting on these internet based businesses also again i will keep on revealing the names on some of my other videos small caps i am not buying any more i am already sitting on good 40% profit on my small cap small cap 250 index that i had purchased and again disclosed it publicly right now mid caps i don't know you have to be very very selective so according to me small caps are overvalued large caps are typically undervalued as of now the entire macro is forming around the fact that large caps are likely to give better returns in the short term as i had explained 
explaining the reasons also. Now, I am not saying that I will be 100% right about each of these steps. This is not an advice what you should buy, what you should sell. I have given you all the data. Now, it's your responsibility to do further research and make your own investment decisions. Now, some of you might be thinking, Ki, yeah, 